Hi girls, welcome back. So before I get into this topic, I just want to wish you guys an amazing Christmas for 2019 with your family and loved ones and hoping that you have an amazing day. Be merry drinking from the morning like I will, darling. So have a lovely time and sending you lots of positivity, love, hugs, kisses, abundance. Take it, take it, take it. Okay? That part. Now... Today's video is what, oh, Dan, Dan's over there. <laughs> Dan, Dan, he's sleeping. So today's video was requested a tiny while ago, actually, but I'm only doing it now. I kept it noted, mentally noted. Now I'm doing it. So thank you for this request, by the way. Now, somebody asked me about interracial dating and to discuss that topic. So I'm doing that today. And I guess I'll just be speaking to you guys about my experience dating interracially. A lot of you guys are dating interracially and a lot of you guys are not. So some of these things you may have experienced and some of them you may have not. Now, I personally have had an amazing, you guys can hear my beanbag. I personally have had an amazing experience dating interracially. And I love interracial dating. And quite frankly, if there was not interracial dating, I wouldn't exist. So thank goodness for interracial dating. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here on your screens. But in terms of my dating life, I have had a mixture of dating my own race and outside my race. So the experience that I've had dating with my own race has been good and bad. And my experience dating outside my race has also been good and bad. So for me, it's not solely about the race of it all. It's with the guy of the treatment towards me. It's more about the person them, themselves. Um, the main thing that I have had a difference with is treatment from outsiders. So, so if I'm out dating a middle-aged white man, there is different treatment from outsiders. And the type of treatment that I've received is more that people are like falling over themselves trying to impress that guy and trying to impress you because I guess that they feel like he's going to tip quite nicely. Naturally, you just assume when you see a middle-aged white guy that's dressed really nicely and you know especially if he's got someone younger in his arm you just assume that he's well established and that he has a lot of money so when I've been out with guys that are of different ethnicities and are non-white the treatment is not the same they could be dressed the same way they could be wearing something that's actually more expensive than the other guys or but or they might even have a bit more money, but the treatment is not the same from outsiders. Like going into a restaurant or going into a shop, it just isn't the same. So I think the main difference that I've experienced is from outsiders, from staff and working people, as opposed to from the guys themselves. Um, that being said, you know, I feel like I am, well, not I feel like this, this is, this is tea. I'm definitely approached by white. I'm approached by white. That's what I'm approached by. And I quite frankly, don't really get approached by anything else these days. Um, having said that, I went on a date last night with a black guy. And first of all, he's, he's black. So that's what I haven't dated for a long time. And he was also only 45. So the age of it all, he was like really, really young. So that's two things that is kind of different out of the norm to what I've been used to recently. So I did that and I had, it, it was it was an okay date, you know, I had an all right time. So yeah, um, we went out somewhere in Mayfair and Again, it just wasn't, like, the treatment from the staff, from the workers, it just isn't the same as when you're out with a middle-aged white guy. It's just not the same experience. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I enjoyed my date nonetheless. But anyway, so, for me, I would say that it's more about the characteristics of the actual individual as opposed to 
oh my gosh, every time I've dated black guys, I've had this experience. Every time I've dated, I don't know, Asian guys, I've had that experience. That just isn't the case. I would definitely say, though, that when you are, you know, there are, su there are certain people that like certain things. So as long as you try to find that person that likes your certain thing. So let's just say, for example, you are a girl that is, I don't know, let's, let's just say you're, you're a white girl. Go with guys who like that, you know? Um, if you're a black girl, then go with guys that like black girls. If you are mixed, then go for that. If you're, you know, Chinese, then get guys that like that race. I know it can be difficult to distinguish and decipher, wait, do they actually, is that their thing? Or is it a fetish? Or is it just they want to try that? Or, or like, are they taking me seriously if I'm a different race to them? Maybe you have some of those questions as well. Um, I would, for, for me personally, I've never felt like somebody is not taking me seriously just because of my actual race. I've never felt that way. Um, when it comes to dating, I've really never felt that way. I have been put down from guys that are, well, I say from guys, from one black guy that I dated in the past. He used to say that I don't have any real heritage because my heritage is I guess washed out because it's it's not a pure whatever he, he was chatting rubbish but I actually have more heritage than he does because I'm from different places so anyway but I've never had that experience from somebody that's outside my race they actually I would say probably embrace it more because it's different and they're more interested in it and they might not know about it especially the country that my mum sided from like they, they, they probably don't even like they don't know about it so it's more intriguing and um interracial dating I like it I think that it's a good thing because if it was not here I wouldn't exist and lots of people wouldn't exist I think that it's lovely that you know different cultures and different races and different people can merge and date and don't worry about these idiot people that are looking or potentially judging on that because some people are still narrow-minded and stupid when it comes to that um but you yourself, you must interracial date. Mm. If you haven't tried it already, you should definitely date interracially just to see if that is for you. Because um, I would say that it's for everybody and it's more based on the individual as opposed to that race. So if you go ahead and you actually just date interracially, you'll see that it's not a hang up on the race it's more about how is that person, that specific person. So there was one experience that I had with a white guy. He was well into his 50s and he had, I guess, a thing for women of colour. Now, I personally feel like when people have that thing for those people, I don't think that it's a bad thing. But when you are saying things like cer certain slang um, things or if you're trying to be derogatory to somebody just because you feel like they are a mold of a certain st stereotype, if I don't know if I'm making sense to you guys. In my head it makes sense, but I don't know if it's coming across correctly. But if somebody just likes dating your race, then that's not a problem. If somebody is being derogatory about your race and they're a different race to you, or even the same race, like that guy that was getting rude to me, you know, my, one of my exes, don't stand for it and that is unacceptable. And if somebody is doing something like that, it should just make you more like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, beneficial dating. <laughs> let, let me get what I can get from you because um, you deserve it. So get those priorities in check and the race thing is not a oh is not a priority 
you know, it's more about the treatment of it all and that aspect. So I'm just, this thing just fell. So, um, yeah, I would say just look at that part. Now, where I went on my date yesterday is somewhere that some of you girls in London can go to. It was called Quaglino's. Let me double check. Um, so it was in Mayfair. Yeah, Quaglino's on Bury Street. So just off of German Street. It was really, really lovely. They have bar seating there was live music playing and it, it, it was just lovely. The whole atmosphere, it's Instagrammable if you guys wanted to go there to take pics or something. It's really, really pretty in there. So that's the place that you guys can go. That's somewhere that I'm definitely going, going to go to as well. So yeah, I want you guys to please comment below if you have had any bad experiences dating interracially like just let me know what your experiences are dating interracially and if you like this video or this chilled out type of video then thumbs up the video por favor and also guys I just want to say this Merry Merry Christmas once again and you guys have been with me another year I am very appreciative of that. I feel like I've built bonds with so many of you and I really do feel like there's a family here. So for me, I very much, um, you know, you guys very much are a part of my life and I hope that I'm yours, even though I know it's on the screen, so it might be kind of weird for you, me saying that, but I'm saying it nonetheless. But I feel like we're here together, so. I feel like you guys get it. But Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Natal, and have a prosperous, abundant, fun, exciting, wig shaking new year 2020. Obviously, I will have videos before then. You'll see me before that comes. But Merry Merry Christmas and lots and lots of love to you guys. Mwah.